Hi, my name's Lauren and I'm going to guide you through my personal and professional literacy profile and learning plan. In my first year of Bachelor Education Primary, I commenced my first literacy course teaching reading. In this course, I learned the importance of reading as well as how important it was for me to read to self in front of my students as they never see adults doing this. In this course, we looked at the four resources model by Luke and Freebody 1999. This model included, includes code breakers, text participants, text users, and text analysts. Throughout teaching and reading, we looked at text types, which taught me multiple literacies I'd never heard before. We also looked at text purpose, organization, and structure. This has made me view all text types differently when I read them. Often now I pick up a book and analyze it from start to finish, which I believe a teacher of reading should do. One final aspect of teaching reading I remember is the multiple reading strategies and their importance, as well as reading procedures which promote readings, reading in many ways. The next literacy course I completed was teaching writing. This course showed me that I am writing, I'm a writer, although I would have never believed it. We looked at the importance of a writer's notebook and how to utilize that weekly. We also looked into the writing process and the development of writing, which clearly pinpointed how to create a text through planning, drafting, conferring, refining, and editing. The two concepts we learned in this course that I that had the biggest impact on me was the importance of images in a text. I used to look at them as decorations, however, now I can look at see a whole different story within those without having to read the words. The second was conferencing. Through my own experience, I'd never really conferenced before. However, the huge emphasis on this and how we utilise this in class has shown me how important it is to students, especially in their writing. When it comes to the Victorian curriculum, level two English under the strand of reading and viewing, I am quite confident in most areas. However, there are a few areas I'd like to further develop. Those areas are expressing and developing ideas, phonics and word knowledge, as well as interpreting, analysing and evaluating. Out of these three areas, I've decided to further develop phonics, focusing on strategies for teaching long vowel patterns. For example, the long A sound in play and baby. I've picked this topic as my area of improvement because in my, on my last placement in a foundation classroom, although I understand the different sounds the single letters make, I had no idea how to teach this, and this made me extremely nervous in the classroom. In the book, the Place of Phonics in Learning to Read and Write, written by Emma Hornsby and Wilson, it states, While the debate about phonics is usually related to reading, it is actually during writing that phonic knowledge comes to the forefront. This tells me that teaching students long vowel patterns to, inclu to include written tasks and not just rely on reading, as this will allow students to sound out long vowel sounds through prior knowledge, context and spelling. Emmett Hornsby and Wilson also discussed the teach that teaching that a letter is, has a sound is quite misleading. We cannot know the sound a letter represents unless it is in a meaningful context. When it comes to teaching long vowel patterns, it is important to bring it to con into context. This context could be anything to do with a student's life or an activity in school as long as, it's meaning, as, long as it has meaning and the students can grasp an understanding. According to Literacy, Reading, Writing and Children's Literature, 5th edition, written by Winch, Johnston, March, Young Doll and Holiday, rhymes, poems, songs and shared books help to facilitate both phonemic awareness and reading through repetition, rhyme and the pleasurable matching of sounds. These are all resources I can use to introduce long vowel sounds in my future classroom before moving on to writing words with these sounds. If students hear rhymes, they are able to hear the sound a long vowel makes repeatedly, such as long you loves you, long you can sing, can sing a tune, long you is never rude. After they grasp the sound, they are then able to create their own poems, rhymes or songs using long vowel patterns to further their knowledge. Australian Literacy Educa Educators Association Phonics is placed in the literacy story by Ewing and Mayer's states. In English, there are 44 sounds and only 26 letters. English has one of the most sounds in its language and it is important to teach children this at an early age, all these sounds including long vowel patterns. This enables students to read accurately, make meaning as well as spell correctly. 
Although long vowel patterns is just one aspect of phonics, it is no less important than any of the other content. I have created a weekly plan and this will help me improve to become a confident teacher of phonics. In particular, teaching long vowel patterns, I have created an action plan containing six actions which I will ensure to follow. Action 1 involves attending as many lectures and tutorials as I can and ensure I am completing the pre-workshop tasks. Action 2 is set for me to search for professional readings on the topic. I aim to read at least one of these a week. Action 3 involves completing assessment task 1B entry 2. I will assess how my learning is progressing as well as pinpoint one strategy that has been effective in developing my in further developing my phonic knowledge and identify one reference. Action 4 involves reading age appropriate picture storybooks and short novels that focus on teaching long vowel patterns and I will note valuable teaching points from these. Action 5 includes researching strategies to effectively teach my chosen point of improvement. Action 6, my final action, is completing AT1B Entry 3, the final entry. In this, I will state how I have measured my growth in my chosen point of improvement and discuss the strategy that I found help, had the biggest impact on my learning and I will also make reference to one professional reading. I hope to keep on top of my weekly plan to ensure I gain the most from this course as well as become a confident teacher of long vowel patterns. Thank you for listening.